Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and I am standing on a um, powered down outpost here with Kitten. Hey, Kitten. Are you there? <clears throat> Hi, sorry, just made the announcement to say that we are live. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. So we started up a new um oh hey your your alarm went off that's that's great Sorry. i almost even asked you if your alarm you've got kitten has this alarm that goes off at exactly stream time every day so about half the time he remembers to turn it off before stream yeah. time is that in case you forget the stream it's uh yeah that too but it, yeah i think it's it's medication isn't it Yes, and I haven't taken it, which is fine. I'll take it after stream. Okay. You're going to survive that long? Yeah, I should. Okay, that's good. Uh, as long as you survive through the stream, I'm okay with it, because um, I need you here for that. But um, I, I just did a very anticlimactic reveal of the Stereops. That is the new ship that is being added in experimental build. Well, it's being added nice. in the next build. Yes. We Pretty are cool, currently, huh? Uh, it says at the top right-hand corner, uh, experimental build 0.2.8. Uh, G. Just G. Just reiterating, <laughs> this is experimental. There are bugs. There are oh, issues. Oh, yes, there are. This is just what it is. Yes. But we get to bring this to you guys. <laughs> Most of the features that you're going to see in this are going to be added to the game very soon. I mean, they're they're talking a week or two. Uh yeah, like somewhere around 2 weeks ish. Yeah. Um if everything goes okay, obviously, but Yeah, and that, and that's the thing, you know, all these features may or may not make it into the game blah 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 blah. All the standard things you say within an experimental version. Yeah. This is work um, in progress. Blah, blah, blah. Work in progress, etc. As a matter of fact, you'll see some things where there's still places that are placeholders. And I'll make sure and show those to you. I'm pretty sure the cockpit of the Stereops is not complete. That is beautiful. Yeah. And this uh -huh. um <laughs> this door is great. This is the first changed uh, airlock door that they have. I'm going to close it up real quick. Is it faster? Mm, nah. It's actually no. probably a little slower overall, but it's got the, it's the whole like vault door thing that's just cool. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, Jubbly. Yeah, it is. Um, by the way, we haven't actually introduced. Um, sorry. Pra I'm focusing on what I'm doing and what I'm saying, which is hard <laughs> for me. So, uh, <laughs> Cosmic Chimp is here as well, and he is going to be yeah. reading your chat so that we don't have to, because... Just because I don't have the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have the experimental um, yeah. access, which you can get. I mean, you just, you have to go apply. To yeah. But they accepted us to, so I'm sure they'd accept you. I mean... Do you know what? Well, I'll, 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 well when's it coming out? The official version, it's going to be a yeah. week or so, I'd say. We don't know. I mean, if there is no official release time. So. Yeah. Um, but it, if they keep working on their schedule, I think it's somewhere around uh, mid of next month. Okay. And we have a problem. No, we don't. It's What's over here. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to remember. Okay. I thought there wasn't a place for, for guns. There is. It's all good. It's all good. Perhaps we should show like the most amazing addition, which I absolutely love. We'll get to it eventually, but I absolutely love it. Uh, There's a lot of cool things that they have added. There we go. Just before we go any further, um, Destiny, do you want to make him a mod? Let's start the stream. Help us out. Oh, yeah. Put Destiny on as a mod. Can you do that? Do I need to do that? Kittens or you can do it. One or the other. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'll do it, I'll do it. I actually haven't even... <laughs> I haven't actually gone to... Um... I think it needs to write something in chat first. Yeah, no, I it's do. it's done. It's done? Who did it? He No, Destiny's written in chat, so you can just click on his name. Oh, nice. I'll see him. Um, see, this is one thing I don't like about Twitch, is I'm looking at 
like my Blind dashboard view. and it's showing how many viewers I have and everything, but it won't show me chat from before. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Right. So it only shows you from where you click on the actual screen. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. it's obnoxious. But for all of us who have been watching it from the start, we've got the whole list of chat right in front of our face. Hey, so you see his name there. There you go. Well, I just modded De um, Alice because Alice said mm. something. <laughs> I couldn't mod Destiny. I don't have permissions to do that action. Well, there you go. Deal with that. Hang later. on, hang on. Destiny is modded. There we go. So okay. is a and Alice is too now. So we're good. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. Get started. Good Let's stuff. Move on. Let's actually do a thing. Yeah, I'm going to figure okay. out how to actually put this weapon and ammo in here. There we go. And there we go. So we have one gun with two bits of ammo. I'm like going to put so, as much away as I can. So what? Me, mm, I was thinking about adjusting this. Okay. So oh, light. <clears throat> oh, hey, there we go. How about we uh, talk a little bit about uh, what we're planning? Because I don't think this is going to be a normal stream, is it? No. No, it is not. Ooh. What are we planning? A normal stream. D well, let, do, let do you know what we're planning? I mean, for one thing, we need to get out of this debris field. That's true. Yeah. That's I'm going to switch out the warp fuels so that we have a... Like, because I have I picked up a warp cell in the, in the derelict that's nearby. Oh, actually, you should probably at least do this once. Do, oh, yeah. Let's, let's show them because there's a new navigation thing going on and there's a new HUD thing going on and it drives me nuts. There are things I like about it and things I do not. First of what all, do you not like about it? is there, okay. Okay. If I hold the alt key, I can look around. I, I, I kind of liked the old method of defaulting to just looking around and then having to click to navigate, but I kind of didn't like that. So <laughs> Eh. I, I think you're more eh. just used to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, there's something real about getting into a seat and... Just being able to look around. And just being able to look around and then kind of having to reach out and grab the controls or whatever. Speaking of which, there are no controls. Now, Wait, what? that is because they're not done with this, I'm sure. I mean, look, you're kind of grabbing... See that my left hand is kind of grabbing onto something that doesn't exist. <laughs> So, it's like you've got a really, really short hand. You, you, are you small? Well, you, you know, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe Actually, just my like legs kind of go through the seat, don't they? We'll have to look yeah, at this more when Kitten's um, in it. <laughs> animations are still... Uh, yeah. Charges, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, if I hit four, that's... Oh, that's the lights. That's right. Okay. And then so, so two is, it mind control? is navigation. Yes, it's mind control. That's what it is. That so makes that's perfect sense all that technology it's fine okay so we are um around bethier there are two automated refineries do we want to try and go to one of those guys uh remember we Ooh. have uh, our module right attached. right we need to get a good solid orbit so if i click on bethier and then click on add custom orbit they've really changed the interface for this and i like it a lot so yeah, am, it feels much more, where I? I think, ergonomic is the right word. Okay. It looks easier to control. It is definitely easier to control. Okay, so I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. Oops. Like this. I have to change the sky post by any chance. I've never They're been just... good at seeing that, so I don't know. There we go. Yeah. So it's just a slightly larger of our existing orbit. So if I hit warp two, it's going to figure that out. And then I like to decrease. Oops, wrong way. Do you know, it would be really nice if they, well, they probably might implement like a, a base that you could probably teleport to. I'm not saying walk around the planet, but kind of like an outpost that you can go to to salvage stuff on planets. That would be... Or... Um, Actually, in their roadmap... They have put up, uh, maybe we should talk about the roadmap at some point too, but in their roadmap, they have put up asteroid bases as possible additions to... Ooh, um, Ooh that would be cool. Yeah, it's like inside of an asteroid would be like a, a station, essentially. 
<clears throat> where you can go in and loot the stuff and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Best, um, by the way, hang on. We've got to say this. Best feature that they've added or maybe feature they've removed is you no longer have to actually hit J to initialize. So, you ready? Uh, I almost was like, you should just <laughs> not even like tell them and just get up and walk away and then let chat yeah. explode like you didn't press j nope that is awesome um, i don't think we'll have so, yeah there's no warp effect we are so, warping right now yeah nun city says hi epic hope everything is going a bit better Oh yes, thank you. Um, it's not going any better than my <laughs> than my video for yesterday, but it's not um, it's not going to until eh, it's complicated. Um, it's complicated. It's complicated. I I can say a few extra things here that I can't normally say for those that are have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, there's I've kind of been on a not so much a pause but a slowdown in my youtube channel and because of some personal stuff going on and um it has been correctly guessed <laughs> that it is um it's a legal situation there's court involved and that kind of thing and I can't talk about it because it's court and I but I can tell I can say what it isn't and that is it's not a lawsuit it's not a criminal case it's not a divorce or anything like that it's honestly it's actually a completely unique thing like like as far as i know it's the first case of its kind um i i mean approximately it's lovely it's, it's weird amazing. is what it is and it takes like an hour to explain and i'm not going to but we don't we won't know anything until after monday so but i'm hoping it's all going to be done by the end of next week so this is slightly off topic but did you notice that there's uh glass windows on the top of the crew quarter module yeah no uh wait top of the qu crew quarter oh that's right yeah you, you can, can look right up <laughs> yeah 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 but not into the bedroom wait, wait. which is good I was just going to say, at least there's no shower rooms or anything. Yeah. So, so, any more info about the ship? Like, what else can you do with it? What else so is part of it? What's really cool about this ship is it's it's a lot smaller overall. I think for the most part, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no there's no cargo bay underneath, um, which means that it actually can haul. Um, things around for a lot cheaper. I don't know if you guys noticed that I was looking at the navigation and it, it showed how much of this warp cell was used. And granted, mm -hmm. we didn't go very far, but it only used 10%. So how do you do your drilling and your mining? Do you have to get another ship for that? Uh, well, it actually, now the outpost comes with one drill and everything you need for it. And so you can do that, you know, you can, <laughs> you can do one thing with it like you can go and fill up one container mm -hmm. but um, you got to get more containers really mm -hmm. also there's no charger on the stereops for recharging the batteries there's no uh air filter there's an air um there's an oxygen generator but there's no filter which is kind of interesting there's no let's see what else is there not uh there's no storage management there's no reactor so you cannot generate your own power with the stereops you actually have to charge it up Ooh. and like via something plan. else so on your journey you have properly. to plan yeah so the outpost right now has charged up the kobayashi maru <laughs> <laughs> i had to <laughs> Uh, I had to. Yeah. It also comes with a singularity detonator, which is kind of nice. Were you going to say anything? Um, what? Oh, my this Lord. is the best part. <laughs> the bubbles. The bubbles. Yeah. The bubbles <laughs> the are kind of cool. Stephen um, House. Yes. I just said, so are you claiming for custody of Trump's hairpiece? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love the community. I really do. Wow, that is unique. That's that. that, That's creative. That there's no doubt about that. Hey, kitten. (laughs) Yes. Here. Hi. Have that. Thank you. Um, So so yeah, let's let's talk a little bit more about the ship here. Um, Well, let's talk about it. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Wait. What is the purpose for it? Wait. So it is meant as first of all, this is the new starter ship. So you actually start with this ship. You do not start with the other one that we've had in the past. Um, it's also it's meant to be kind of a cheaper cargo alternative. Yeah, I mean it's it's another it's another alternative. Yeah, exactly. Now a lot of it, people it are saying that it's it has no purpose, but I, I disagree. I disagree. I actually feel like it's more designed to go grab and move things than the... Yeah, I I feel like this is just like a maintenance ship where... It it definitely has more... It's kind of like... um, It's... (sighs) It's well, like a semi truck without the trailer. It when you, when you don't have the trailer, it actually has a lot of horsepower, and so and then when you connect it, then it's still. You, mm, had it. yeah. Can somebody actually just translate what I said into English? So basically, David, it's designed for. Uh, sorry to cut you off there again. I know. Uh, I know. Because, like, <laughs> but basically, <laughs> it's like you go. It's it's fast, maneuverable. And um, it has a battery life. And when you go to grab like a module, like we just moved this whole, our whole station, we did not undock the crew quarters module like usual. We took the whole thing and we only used 10% of our warp. So this definitely feels like it's designed to pick stuff up and move it or um, something of that nature. Like it feels like that hardy industrial tractor trailer kind of feel you know? exactly space tractor trailer so so david Pez perry says what about a scout vessel could it you know it could be a scout vessel if it's not got much to right it, now it could... it's a better scout vessel than the other ship yeah because yes. you go yeah. places you don't really you're not really losing out much if anything happens to the ship i suppose because there's not really much on it is there um when you get the chance do you want to come into the the oh yeah and uh, is there any more ships or is right now this is the it? only new ship and they're going to be adding more but this is there's now two ships <laughs> uh by the way uh while you were talking i just also used one of the new features which is a um what do you call it kitten what do you call it uh, I don't even know what you use. Label. Yeah. So, it's yeah. <laughs> they now have label. signs. Yeah, so they now have signs above the a lot of the doors, so I can say the main place thinger. Ooh, so, so yeah. Yep. So you can now when you have like Arcadia that we have the you can't yeah. tell where you can get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can label. Wait, why are we getting out? Because I want to come down here to below the stereops. And oh, the next to show off. Feature, yes. Yes. Uh, the next biggest feature is they completely replaced the grapple. Yeah. You don't dock. Um, you don't grapple. You anchor. Yeah. So the stereops uh, can only anchor. Uh, the Sarah or Argies are Argis? Argies? I don't know. Do Wait, you want to? Hey, um, hey, kitten. Hey, kitten. Do you want to go inside and? Because we're going to have to undock or unanchor. Yes. Why don't you do that while I watch and then people can okay. see what it looks like? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, basically, the whole idea is uh, there's platforms like anchor points on the tops of um, the different modules. I had a brain for it there. And what we do is we connect to it and then it, it's it's better. Here, you can see another one. This is so this one is on the uh uh the airlock module. Ooh. So he could dock there or anchor there. And he could also oh, anchor really over great. on this one over here if he wanted the crew quarters module. Uh we have found that there are some very interesting bugs, at least a couple of experimental versions ago. Uh, where if you have three things connected together like this and you dock to one of the outer ones, it it didn't necessarily work quite well. Yeah, I believe that's actually been 
fixed. I see. I thought it may have been fixed. It. it looks so beautiful. I love the way it's been designed. All right, I'm ready to undock. So uh, it looks like a dump truck. That's oh, what it reminds it could be me a of. Space tug. Yeah, that's what it is. A space tug. Yeah, it space literally is. Exactly yeah. So Destiny's saying <laughs> it could be the, the MPT then. MPT. And then somebody says we should name it the Spacey McSpaceboat. <laughs> Spacey McSpaceboat. <laughs> so good. Uh, are so you ready for yes. undocking? Yes, do it. Do it. Fire was okay. season thought. Undocking. There uh-huh. we go. So yeah, um, overall, from doing testing, anchor points feel, they feel better, in my opinion, than grapple. I did like the idea of being able to grapple to anything, but I don't know. I feel like the anchor points make more sense to me. I, I like it. I, I like the grapple, though. I think I, I, like... And I don't know that the grapple is going to completely go away. Maybe it is. I don't know. I like the fact that you could just, you know, grapple something and then tow it. <laughs> well, well and you could still do it. I mean, that's what are. this is. Yeah. I kind of like just the physical aspect of the grapple, but yeah. Do you know, I was watching Lost in Space, the new series on Netflix, mm-hmm. and they actually, at one point, the ship grappled onto, they tried to grapple a bit of debris. No spoilers, these man. Two guys. Well, anyway, so um, I like the whole fact of grappling. Like, if somebody's stuck out in space and you can't get to them in time and you throw the grapple out, that'd be awesome if, like, you could grab onto it and pull yourself back in. Like, with a rope attached kind of thing? Yeah. It'd be pretty, like, see if, like, you're flying out and you didn't have time and you're running out and the ship can get to you. You could harpoon you or something like that. (laughs) That'd be pretty cool. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Why did you open it? Well, the, normally the button won't work unless it's pressurized enough. It's funny that it lets you. Or let me. Oh, um, here's another thing that they changed as well. What's that? There's noises. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Like, oh, it, hey. It's, it's a tiny thing, but. I just noticed we have a resource injector. I'm going to go jam oh, well, this in something. Yeah. Uh, um, <clears throat> if you want to come back up to the cockpit, I know we're backtracking a little bit, but this is a change that they want to make for all sh- uh, for the RGs as well. Sarah, I mean. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, from my understanding, they want to make this change for the, um, the Sarah as well and future ships. I, I could be wrong, of course, but um, <clears throat> this kind of 3D HUD aspect mm-hmm. here, uh, if you take a look at it... Oh. Um, from my understanding, it's going to be like a physical, like a like a screen kind of thing. But they like the idea of having this 3D HUD. Well, as long as there was some kind of structure that looked like it was projecting it, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. I like... Yeah, I mean, it's not just going to be floating there. I honestly like the idea of very physical things, you know? Like, if it were up to me, there would be no virtual HUD and I don't know if they're planning on that or not but I know that like so like in the in the other ship you there's things drawn on the windows and like you don't get a lot of things that are I mean like the one two three four thing up at the top of the screen are very not part of the environment you know what I mean yeah I get you yeah and and I don't I don't know that I like that. Um, I also, if any of the devs are watching, I know that some of them do. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I really want is I like physical buttons that somebody that's not piloting can walk up and hit. I love physical buttons. That would be totally. interesting. Yeah. Um, for, a, if, for a co-pilot. Well, not even for yeah. a co-pilot, but there was actually a time when Kitten and I were doing something. I can't remember what it was. And Kitten was flying. And, and he was actually, you know, controlling the ship actively and something needed, I think it was like something needed to be undocked or something. And the button was right there. And I wanted to, you know, I was trying to press the button (laughs) over his shoulder kind of, but I had to wait until he was done and then he could push the button. 
And I would just love to be able to do that. Anyway, hey, Kitten, while we're talking, would you like to set up a uh, course to one of those refineries or something else? Maybe we do a scan. I shall do a scan, sir. (laughs) Hopefully we'll find a Sarah. It's funny that now to you, you feel like you're sitting, right? Like you... Like it looks like you're sitting on your side, right? Really standing with yeah. flippers. Yeah, he's got flippers on. <laughs> yeah, he does have flippers on. Those are pedals, man. The flippers. They're pedals. <laughs> <laughs> he's got big space feet. Uh, <laughs> make fun of my flippers. I love. <laughs> jelly in my super I love experimental flippers. stuff because the best thing about builds like this, where you're seeing like these weird floating screens and and stuff like that, is you really get a feel for what. Like, what goes into a game like this? Somebody has to animate your character sitting down in that chair. And until that's done, you're just going to stand there. We need an Equinox for this. He's good at animating chair seating. Yeah, that's right. He's been doing that in in uh, Medieval Engineers, though. It's a, mm-hmm. probably a little different. Maybe not. Do it's we a have chair, a, and it's... Hey, do we have a catalyst <laughs> around here? Not a catalyst, sorry, a... Um, the thing with two tubes on it, you know what I mean? The, yep, yep. The, 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 the other thing. The tubes and the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, you're talking about the, the um, thing that does the thing. Hang on, I'll hover and I'll tell you. A servo motor. Oh. No, I don't think we do. Okay. There's one down in the in the base, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just, let's just head off and do the thing. Uh, have you set up a warp? I have. Yay. We're going to wind up probably in a debris field, but uh, we're going oh. to... Oh. So Mr. Funtz says, what? does the sparks need to be attended to? Um, they they do, but somebody, somebody royally screwed up. So... Was that epic? Yes. Yes, it was. Because <laughs> <laughs> what need to be attended to? So they, there's sparks. They need, to be they need to be welded, but we don't have a welder because... Kitten was going out through the um, through the airlock and dropped the welder for me so that when so that once he'd gone through, I could open the door and, you know, repressurize, open the door, grab it and go do some welding. Well, I mixed up which door was which. And I, for some reason, thought there was one more room and I was kind of forced pressurizing the rooms and so I opened up a door to space thinking it was thinking that it was, um, you know, just the next room. And of course, everything in that corridor got blown out into space at yeah, as did. meters per second, which meant that I basically fired a welder at the sun or something. I don't know. <laughs> like a, like a rail gun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A rail gun. It's well, technically it's, it's a, it's a, pressure cannon it's a yes yeah potato potato gun so yeah (laughs) base yeah basically um how long until this warp initiates it's already been initiated Uh, right but i mean how long until we actually start going toward it like we are going toward it but are you saying we're moving right now yeah no you're not on my screen we are cool okay anyway so Fire Rose oh, is this day. Oh, I think the pilot oh, UI. Lag. Oh, and we're here. Okay. Nothing changed on my screen, and all of a sudden we're here, except for lots of slowness. Anyway, what did Fire Rose knows say? He, he thinks, right, so he went, I think the pilot, the pilot UI in Subnautica for the Cyclops was quite good. Yes, and I, I agree. Think something similar would work well here. I agree. I actually really like the way they did that because everything seems so physical, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, no, you can true. come out. You can come with me. It only takes a second David, to pressurize David and depressurize. Says, so the welder is now one with the universe. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I- Love you guys so much. <laughs> I've missed the font. Says <laughs> I might go to the same place. The Xenos goes to. The, oh, wait, you mean my Xeno? Is that what he's saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 
By the way, they seem to have made, I don't know if they actually did, but they seem to have made um, the the angle you have to be at to not fall flat on your face slightly easier to deal with. But I'm not actually sure. Oh, jeez. So are we actually, no, you're not actually starting up a server. You're just actually just playing about with this. You're not going to save anything or... No, no, we're not. This is not, this is all unofficial. We're mostly just playing with stuff. So the loot tables have changed, by the way. I wonder if they've done anything down here. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, they have not. Though they did get rid of the well, hovering upgrade. That's too bad. <laughs> one of the um, additions that they're doing for the uh, for this version is that they're going to basically allow you to make custom stations that you can have in your world. Yes, if you're a server Ooh. admin. Um, yep. By the way, this place has been thoroughly emptied. Wait. Hang on, I'm curious. Oh, God. What? I was upside down and I fell on my head. That hurt. Yeah, they made it a little bit easier, but not that much easier. So how do you mean by making your own uh, so stations? In what way? There's, if anyone's familiar with uh, the JSON format, it's a, it's a like a text-based configuration sort of format. Okay. You can actually define your ship based on what's attached to what. And using that, you can import it in and spawn it in a world if you have admin commands. Um, and it'll act just like a pre-made station as well. Yep. Yeah, That'll so be. basically you can make your own pre-made stations, which I think is really, really good. There's a fabricator module on this. Um, so epic! I think you should use that without telling them. Um, use what? That thing you picked up in that shelf. What did I pick up on the shelf? Oh, this. Yeah. Well, I had that earlier. We have one on the stereops. The gun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I never seen that. Oh, okay. That you should just go behind them, you know. By a few is, gap. I actually. Is this just new for me, or is this like a thing? What? That this has a fabricator module attached to it, so you can like do stuff with it. Um, that's new to me. That's for sure. Hang on, did I just do a full circle, or what am I doing here? Oh no, no there hi, we are. Is, hey, oh, yeah, you're right. It's a fabricator module. module. Yeah. Oh wow, with lots of things that we can defabricate. Yeah. So we I'm could actually like, make a welder. I'm just like, is this legit? Like, well, well obviously it's legit, but I mean, yeah, like, that's a great idea. I'm glad they did that. There's no yeah. power. No. Um. There's no power to this place. Is there any solar cells or nitrogen? Um. I don't know. Oh, geez, just push me. Why don't you? You um, pushed me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's I mean, a... there is a solar panel module, and there's a derelict attached to this, which is a new thing. These are all, by the way, these they've done a lot more with automation of um of like randomizing the der the modules that you find, so mm. you don't. Like, you're not going to find the same thing over and over and over again. You might find it, like, three times, and then that'll be it. <laughs> the rest will all be different. Well, no, I think you'll find it once and never find it again, the same thing. Ooh. Ah. Got a servo motor. Oh, good. Is there anything with That's oxygen? Good. Of course not. Okay. So, yeah, uh, one of the things that they changed about the generation is that there's now, like, yeah, like you said, derelicts attached to to the stations which makes total sense because it's like they wouldn't just you know there would be partially yeah like it's just because things. one thing's broken or doesn't mean everything's broken so yeah. my question yeah. to you is who was here first why was the station here who built the station well that's all oh, in the that's lore people. yeah that's <laughs> actually all in the lore that's all been explained I know oh <laughs> well you're useless mm-hmm Hang on, I'm going to open up this door. I thought maybe you'd oh, just... explain it further. I, I don't want to. 
<laughs> I mean, I would, but I don't think people are that interested in the lore, to be honest. You're quite a lore man, aren't you? You really like the I lore love games. lore. Are you lore talking just... about, like, the In lore from... Well, I'm thinking, like, from, uh, like, Data's brother. <laughs> lore. Yeah. Nice. It kind of That's fell apart, funny. but, yeah. I... yeah. No, I, yeah. I, I like wow. that one. That one was good. I got yeah. it. I liked it. Wow. That's the best I could do. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a joke. Oh, it's okay. We didn't expect just, much. Yeah, I didn't. Fair, that that didn't was figure. quite fast to come up with that. That was pretty fast. <laughs> really? Was it though? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was. Not really. Yeah. not really. It just shows how much of a geek you are. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, this is the Epic Tech Channel. Like, it's true. What do you? Expect? So, are Android? we gonna try and rob this thing blind? Uh, I already am. Nice. Okay. I've so got like five warp cells. Nice. I found a couple too. So we've got plenty of warp. I'm actually going to do the old trick of depressurizing the whole ship. Okay. And then... Um... Oh, wait. I'm going to do this the other way. And then that way we can run things in and put it on doors and stuff like that. I wonder if we could anchor the stereops. Why can't I... Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think it's possible, but you never... It won't let me force open the inner door. Why? I don't know. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> See, okay, well, I'm not going <laughs> to complain. So, Fire was just said, quick summary. Earth sent colonists to the space. Stuff. Hit the fan. Welcome to Helion. <laughs> <laughs> essentially I... kind of yeah I didn't follow but that's okay there's a lot of things in <laughs> life I don't follow we already know that <laughs> uh, we have two pistols Just saying. you only need one who says well, like, if something happens, you know, and you, that doesn't matter. I'm not going to do that route. I'm not going to say anymore. Anyway, so okay. <laughs> anything else to the... To the yes. Topic? Yes, there is. Doesn't mean I remember it, but there's definitely <laughs> more to this update. I thought you were about the spreadsheet or something. There's actually quite a bit that they're they're doing for this update, uh, to be perfectly honest. And I don't even know if we can cover all of it, because... We're forgetful. <laughs> yeah, and the, I mean, and there's a lot of little things, like just a lot of little bug fixes. They're working on performance. They're working on some server um, sync issues. They're saying that the server sync is going to be a lot better soon, which so would be nice. It's already be seems better. Everything. Right now? Uh, um, and yeah. Hello. What is the mindset before that? Can you turn this thing upside down, by the way? Yes. Thank you. By the way, uh, that's how to do it. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, how many people can you get on the server <laughs> where it's too much? Um, I know that the official servers have maxes of like... 100. Is it 100? It is 100. Okay. Wow. That is the default max when you create a server. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Can I so theoretically, oh. you can have a 100 people. I don't know if it actually works that way, because I don't think we've ever gotten close to 100. <laughs> yeah. As far as I'm aware. No, we've we've never gotten close to 100. Not on... I don't think, honestly, I don't think even they've gotten close to 100. But considering the way this game is designed, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it could handle 100 without much of a problem. So this is a good point for a shameless self um, you know, thing. So if you want to be joining us to do to reach that 100 <laughs> player max, why don't you join us on Patreon, where you can sub to either myself, Epic, or Commander Kittens, and you have access to all the servers. That we play on. There you go. Which includes 
right hell now, yeah. Hellion. <laughs> but we've had other servers in the past. We've, we've had, had medieval, engineers. medieval engineers. We've had interstellar rift. That's right, interstellar rift, Spaces. and they kind of come and go. Like we'll we'll turn them on, turn them off, that kind of thing. So yep, it all depends on what you guys as patrons, patrons want to play. Indeed, definitely. So come along. Why is it being a not yeah patron a... and join us on server? And Why? We'll see if we get Why? One hundred percent. There. I can't. Okay. What? You can't what? I'm having issues like putting what? these clips in this. Thing. Um, make sure that they're actually pistol clips and not rifle clips. They are. They're rifle clips. No, I mean they're pistol clips. In that case, I don't know what your problem is. But every time I try to place it, it like it like picks up the closest one instead of puts it down. Um, drop one on the ground. Let me see. First of all, yes, it is pistol. Okay. <laughs> See, you picked up the pistol instead. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then I placed it again, and now it's in there. So try crouching and doing it kind of upward. But I have been having that issue with other things. Like I was just trying to put um, a backpack on the shelf here, and it just did not want to let me. Yeah, it's almost like the... Um... It's been a wee bit shellfish. Box. Did you wow. just say it... shellfish? <laughs> that's not selfish. It it's like the like hitbox it. isn't working right. Uh, yeah, I yeah, think you're right. Bad. It's something like that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't think we should try to completely empty this place. But we should no, definitely. I think this is pretty much it, to be honest. I've got like a bunch of. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So, um, Blade has just said magazines, not clips. There is a difference. Is there? <laughs> I don't know. I... Tell me about <laughs> the difference. What is the difference between a magazine and a clip? I am not a gun guy outside of video games, so. I'm not even a gun guy in games. <laughs> Yeah, good point. All I know good is point. warheads. All you know is warheads. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> scary yet true. Just stick a timer on them and run. <laughs> but in your case, you shouldn't run. No, in your case, you shouldn't like anything Advertise to do with explosives. Just, just don't go anywhere is... near like yeah, any of that kind of thing. I mean, your bar. Everything. Every time I place a warhead and I walk away from it, I can't help but laugh. And that's what gives me away. It's and just... this is why you're not playing with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, I've never actually seen a warhead in this order. Oh, there is C4, isn't there? Pick? Yes. No. Uh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, there are some explosives in this. So what's so next? This Saturday. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I just found a... Uh... Did you already go out to the derelict? Uh, a couple of them. Okay. Like one or well, two. yeah, it looks like I you did because four. all I found was a single clip. <laughs> Magazine. Yeah. Ma mag I don't know. Which one is it? <laughs> I don't know. So I played. Tell us what's the difference between them. Yeah, somebody needs to tell us. Well, there's a gun. I think the difference might have to be how much they hold. No. <laughs> no, 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 no play. Don't type it out. If it's too long, just leave it. And uh, Mr. Font says, give, <laughs> give Cosmic his own galaxy and he will find a way to make it explode. True. This is absolutely true. Aim for the sun. That's what I would do. Shoot for the stars? Shoot for the stars, definitely. That sounds like something you would do. Shoot at the stars. Look, yeah, that sounds like a cosmic <laughs> thing. Why is it? Why is it staring at me? <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> anyway, guys. I had an idea. No, wait. That's just a sound. Of oh, if that hadn't broken up, I'm sure it would have been funny. What did you say? I had an idea. What? You said oh, I had an idea, I and said... you totally broke up. 
I said, I had an idea. Oh, no, wait. That's just the sun above my head. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Okay. I was Ooh. making a cosmic joke. But, yeah. Moving on. Swiftly? swiftly? swiftly. Yeah, yeah. Warm pancakes. Um, We should definitely talk more about this update. Yes, we should. So what else is there? You've been the one actually paying attention to this stuff. Um... Have I though? Like, yeah, you've been all over like their Discord server, and this is true. Yeah. So tell us, tell us all about it. Tell us everything there is to know. Well, currently going back through to get the <laughs> the actual stuff. <laughs> right. Oh, one thing that a lot of people have been asking for uh, is getting a notification when the storage is full on the fabrication module. Yes. That's a thing. <laughs> that is now a is thing. It? Because so there used to be an issue where if you were um if you were on the fabrication module and you were fabricating things and you filled up the storage of the fabricator, it would simply like it would destroy the things. And not oh, so. put anything in your in your storage. So if it was too full, and then it wouldn't take anything else, it wouldn't let you know what's happening. Yeah, and it would just just okay. I didn't know that. Why do some of the shelves not work? I don't know. It's an interesting question that I don't understand. Hmm. Basically, I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go somewhere else. Actually, let's head back. What do you think? Or no. Or should we cr try and find a module? Hang on. I want to take a look. We should try and find a Sarah. Because they made changes to the Sarah as well. Did you already do a scan and find things? Uh, I did, and I didn't find anything. So I found a whole bunch of um. Oh, that was nice. Asteroids. I like that whole pulse. Yeah, it's nice. So, um... Blade says he can join us in chat if you want to explain the, the whole clip of <laughs> magazine thing. And uh, Stephen House just says, I like Spock's joke. The universe is very gassy. <laughs> what? I just read that and it sounded even funnier. Anyway, so uh, Blade can join us in chat if you want to bring him up and explain the whole magazine to clip difference. Do that. Why don't you grab him, bring him up here and and join us. Okay, so there's nothing. I, like, I just did a scan here, and I'm not seeing anything. There's a military post out around that place. One of the moons. Everest so Station. Blade is, Blade is with us. Blade, tell us about Are the you? difference between clips and magazines. Okay, bear with me, because my internet's not best at the minute. That's okay. A clip is a piece of metal that's used to hold the ammunition so it can be placed against the magazine and manually pushed into the magazine. It makes loading a magazine a lot easier. A magazine, however, is usually a spring-loaded uh, container that automatically pushes ammunition from the magazine into a weapons firing chamber. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty... You know what? There you go. I never knew that. That's See, I always genuinely... thought it was a size difference. Back in the day, before I was corrected by a few army gun nut people in America, I thought a clip was like a small <laughs> amount of ammunition that goes into, say, a pistol, and a magazine was a 30-round thing that went into a rifle. And then I was told, no, you're completely wrong and you're stupid. <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's, let's just point out that you had to mention that they were from America. <laughs> well, I can't say England because we don't have what well, we do have gun nuts, but none of them are allowed guns because laws yeah. over here are stricter. Whereas you guys give people an AK-47 and it's fine. That's not at all true. <laughs> That's, that's really not. Difficult. It's like that's it's what, that's, that's what the world thinks. Oh, that is what the, yeah, world, that is thinks. What the world thinks. Yeah, they also well, think that we're all fat thinks. too, but it's okay. And that's the why Helen is messed up. I mean, it's I'm fat, state. so that kind of actually, you know what? That holds. So never mind. 
Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Well, Where is anyway, my ship? Well, thank you so much, Blade, for telling That's us that. That's not the button I wanted. Yeah, not a problem. Um, throw me away. <laughs> throw you away. Th throw you back. <laughs> Th throw him back in the water. You have been discarded. Have fun. Stay safe. And yourself. Um, David Perry says uh, said that uh, I would have thought they would have asked for a coffee machine and a cup hold and cup holders. Oh, Actually, yeah. hilariously enough, I think there's a coffee machine in the game. No way. I think so. So we can get there a cup of jewel. Actually, is you could go over to the um. We have a problem. What's our problem? We've used too much power. We don't have it. We don't have enough power. Well, that's it. We're done. Stream's over. Pretty much. Or start over. Hey, have we tried doing the call a ship thing? From where? Uh, good point. There's no button to do that. There's an undock yeah, this button. Is where you need a panel to do it. We've got a ship full of stuff and no way to go anywhere. That's awesome. Um, I wonder, can we... Hey, see if you can anchor to this... I'm Please. looking now, and it doesn't look like I can. Whoa, that was a cool little bug. Well, what happened? Uh, <laughs> I got to, like, just the right spot, and it, like, I think it was throwing me in and out of the cargo bay. And, that, and I just kind of, like, jerked around a little bit and then got thrown out. That was really interesting. Anyway. So I assume you didn't find any like um, capacitors or whatever. No. Okay. So if we can't. So how does that work now with the stereops? Uh, from my understanding, I think we're now dead in the water. Because I don't think there's no way to, to recharge recharger at the moment. I also have another uh, question. Well, so the Stereops does not have any solar panels, right? Uh, not at the moment. But there will be. We don't well, know. here's the thing. I'm looking at something <laughs> that looks very solar panel-y. That looks more like a thruster. Does it? Yeah, that looks like a thruster. If you're looking at the back, yeah. It looks like it would be like, I don't know. But that pattern... <laughs> guess it looks kind of like star trekky you know it looks like a grab thruster to me i don't know good show could yeah be. it could be could be honestly there's a section here in the top of the middle that looks like it could house a solar panel of some sort oh it could be like an ion drive dave pasberry why can't i switch packs anymore you used to be able to drag a pack. That's a bug. <laughs> oh. So, that's a known is bug. There, is there any way of <laughs> okay, being able to call for more fuel? Like an interstellar rift? <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I was thinking yeah. about. Uh, let me see. Power supply. Yeah, we have Gas zero. Fuel. Okay, we literally have zero. Yeah, one of us is going to have to die. Um, If you do call for a ship, it will spawn a Sarah. Really? Oh, that's a bug. Yes. Yes. Um, well, you said that there was new features on the Sarah anyway, right? Yes. All right. Well, this is what we're going to do. I am going to dump all my stuff on the ground and uh, die. And then you're going to die and then get a Sarah and then bring and it here and come exactly. save me. Yep. So Yay. feel free to put away whatever you like. By the way, there's also a bug where when you take things out of certain spots in your inventory, it doesn't look like they go away right away. But there's no space to put stuff away. Yeah, I know. I'm just dumping it on the ground. You said feel free to put stuff away. There's literally no space. Oh, well. Okay. If you, you found a space. Make sure to take off your suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want, I want to die in the vacuum of space. <laughs> right, so epic. Why didn't you just get out and push? I could, I could, yeah. No, actually, that we could. Cool. In theory, we could actually make it in RCS. Like, we could use a bunch of, we could use some RCS and push, go that direction, 
and eventually get there. And as long as we left enough, we could actually stop. Oh, did you die already? I did. Why? Uh, I was, I was going to shoot you in the head to... Oh, oh that would have been cool. Expedite the process. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm dead already. It's fine. It, it, it's, don't worry, guys. Mercy killing. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I was shooting was... your dead body earlier, but that was before the stream started, so... He Let's was see. suffocating. It, it's rescue a ship. It will arrive in <laughs> 10 minutes, guys. Mark, so... At five after the hour, it should yep. arrive. In the meantime, I need to find a suit. Mm, there's none there. There's still a dead body here. You're surprisingly flexible when you're dead. So, me comment has just said, please show working uh, steel pose. Oh, Stereo ops. Yeah, that's it. Thrusters from the outside. Ooh, good idea. Um, interesting point to note. Uh, there are no actual engines on the Stereops as well. Well, there's RCS. Yes, but I'm saying yeah. like there's no actual engine. Correct. Okay. So how does it fly? <laughs> RCS. Just, just RCS. That's it. Yep. That's it. Wow. Yes, in the warp. Yep. So. You're. Okay, kind of. Stunk? Right. Might be Blank. a little bit stuck. I'm going to do that <laughs> just for a bit. Check the crew quarters module. Uh, I'm going to start by checking out here now that I actually have power. Oh, still can't see anything there. Okay. Still wanted lights. I think I depressurized it. I did. Pressurize. Okay. Here, I'm gonna... So, see, when you're playing the game, can you see that experimental build icon at the top of your screen? This thing up that, here? Did you put that, yeah, did you put that in there? No, no that's, that's part of the game. It's built in. I thought in. maybe you'd put that in. No. No, they they add that to let you know that this is the experiment. Yeah. To remind you that, you know, this is highly experimental. There will be issues. There will be things. Everything is work in progress. Things are placeholders. Blah, 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 um, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. The usual stuff. Okay. I'm... I, I am just, I'm just happy that they allowed us to, to take a look at this kind of stuff before it comes out. They, awesome. They're actually really happy with... Uh, with the idea of letting people see how the development process works itself out. Um, and I, I, I'm just in love with that idea. Just being able to see them shape the game as they do it. It's just... The game I agree. is awesome. It looks it's amazing. humbling almost, but... Hmm. You, can you not just flow out in the hope for the best? So this <laughs> ship is going to show up, and I'm not going to have any way to get to it. I wonder... I wonder if I could hold my breath long enough to get over there. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, in real you life, I wouldn't able be to. able to, but... You might be able to. Well, I still have seven minutes to wait. You'll have to, like, shoot yourself out, though. But you can't even do that because you'll... Yeah, you won't have any way to... Yeah, we're kind of... Screwed. Can you see that body that's on the ground? Can you not take any... That's one of the issues they have is this <laughs> This is a commander kitten that's now male because dead bodies are all male in this world mm -hmm. right now. Um, so you're supposed to be able to take Click things, but the... Oh, what? Why did I suddenly take damage? Because his leg's hitting you. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. Luckily, there is a stim pack here. <laughs> Since, you know, his deanimated leg kicked me. Even in death, he still is a menace. God, it's true. So <laughs> true. Okay, so, yeah, there's really not any options for me at this point. 
Okay, uh, Fire Rose easy. Nico Wolf said, uh, wait a minute. No suit means no jetpack, which means no RCS. You are correct. Oh, you have no to push yourself. Um, wait a minute. Go, go check in the... You might have done it already. I checked in the crew quarters module. I've checked in the main module. And I've checked in the life support module. Yeah, can, you not just pick up, can you not pick up the the thruster anyway? Or do you definitely need to have the suit on? The thruster? The RCS, the RCS pack. The, the, the ones on the cabinet there. Oh, I can pick it up, but I'd be carrying it in my hand. There's nothing to attach you it to. You will use it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... a shame you can't pick up the, uh, the fire extinguisher and just use that to push you along. Oh, I can! That is actually a thing. Well, there you go. <laughs> it has zero in it. What about the one in Why the is that fire extinguisher have zero in it? What about the ones in the crew quarters? Hang on. Is there one in you here? You should have nitrogen to put in the... Oh, good point. Yeah. This one actually yeah. has... This one's got 75%. I love how we have all of these like fuel cells, but we don't have power. <laughs> yeah. So, devs, if you're watching... Um, there needs to be just, something. <laughs> like a small solar panel or something. Even, even if, if it's, it's like half the size or something. Yeah, just, even if it's not enough to even keep the lights on, being able to just, just turn the lights to... off and have it just slowly charge would definitely... Yeah. I can see why people were saying that they didn't want to use the Stereops. That's... Or like a reserve can of gas. A reserve gas or something that you can you know just like a one-time use like a, a wee battery cell yeah actually something like that like people keep these around with um with fuel and that kind of thing in them oh it, there's a suggestion but there's yeah, no like way a, to actually load this on the stereops like essentially a car battery like taking yeah. A, yeah. a power cell and being able to shove it in somewhere and it like takes it out or something like takes the energy out of yeah, it. Yeah, so like yeah, if so it's like, like pull them out and put them like kind of like charge up three of them and then pull one out and keep it aside for an emergency, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that that'd be cool. Like having yeah, having the capacitors as physical things that you can take out and recharge. Yeah, yes. that would be really cool. And then if in this situation, you could just pull one out quickly, charge up, yeah, and then you can move on. I think we have it. We have developed the game. They yep, don't. They don't he, need think, us. Think, you know. They. They don't need to do anything else anymore. We figured it all out. <laughs> yeah. We. Um, I mean, hey, game, we came so. up with the ideas. Now you guys just, you know, make it happen. That's. It's <laughs> all that matters. It's the easy part. So, I think Commander Kittens needs to message them with that one. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah, Commander Kitten, just tell them. Just tell them. Just, just say, just say, get good. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, just, and you got to spell it right too. You gotta yeah, spell it, it has right to be with G U D. Uh, yeah, with an umlaut. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, G I T G U D. There you go. <laughs> Get good. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Dark Souls up in here. <laughs> Dark Souls Space Edition. <laughs> eee, we guys, is that ship idea? Yeah. Yeah, the ship should oh. be there, I think. Uh, is that... Nope, still two minutes, according to my timer. Well, okay. But Alice did say... Um, Alice said, okay, so holding your breath in space is a good way to die. Okay. Technically, you shouldn't be gasping per for breath either. In fact, you shouldn't even hear your blood start to boil because your eardrums would rupture instantly. Mmm, doesn't that sound fun? Yeah. Totally. Oh, this is this is perfect, David. Okay, David came up with the perfect uh, way to solve all of our issues. Just get all a bike. <laughs> yeah, just get a bike. I like this one. And get a chimp to pedal. Nope, nope, not happening. <laughs> get a chimp to pedal. Yeah, like a chimp is capable of that. <laughs> dangle, dangle a beard in front of me like 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 a cat on a stick. Can... Oh wait, did he mean a real chimp? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> because I mean I think a real chimp could pedal. And what and the and the this chimp right here can't. Yeah. No, I can't. I've got fat belly. 
Um, worst case could... scenario, just start anew. I've got yeah, but I want to try body. this first. I am I am actually really excited to try, um, to try this with the fire extinguisher. Oh my, this is gonna be awesome. I mean, it is a propulsion, yeah. But I realized sure to... the uh, the chamber over there was depressurized, and I want to get as close to the door as I can. Come on, here we go. Here we go. I'm really hoping I'll be able to see it from here. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Just show up on my screen. No, of course not. That would be way too easy. I mean, it should be showing up any second if it hasn't already. Another request would be to actually <laughs> somehow know when things appear. Or like, even if, even if this button like disappeared. Ooh, ship is already in range. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. If you click the button and it's in range, it says ship in range. There should be like a, an FTL explosion, like a, like a like sound, a light wave, like a sound and a light wave oh. that permeates the area. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're, that's a suggestion, not something I missed. Oh, before you do anything, before you do anything, uh huh. Uh, hold on to the wall slash door as you open it. Uh huh. Because uh, if you space yourself, your extinguisher will not be enough to fuel you to stop you. Yeah, that was I was planning plus. on holding shift. Okay. All right. Oh, here it goes, guys. Good luck. Thanks. Godspeed. Oh. See, this is what's supposed to happen when there's a pressure differential. That's okay. I can override it over here. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Um... If I let go of my fire extinguisher, you'll lose it. It's going to get sucked out when I open the door, but it won't let me interface yeah. with the touch screen. Um, oh, oh, oh! Can you not? Can you not mount it somewhere or put it in like a storage behind you? There's no storage oh. in this section. Oh, can you not? I was going to say depressurize the hole, but you can't do it. Disconnect the crew quarters module. Oh, there you go. And go out that way. Yep. And actually, that'll just kind of shove me out. And I can do that with one hand, I believe. Yes. <laughs> so Equinox has just joined us. Hello, Equinox. And uh, how is he holding on to the wall when both hands are on the fire extinguisher? <laughs> well, this is the problem. Well, you just shush. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm going to... Also, guys, I have just uh, put a link into the description to join Epic's Discord, so feel free to join the Discord if you haven't already. Yeah, uh, we like to hang out there and talk, and uh, if you'd like to give feedback on Epic's videos, uh, the easiest way to do that is either in the comment section of the video, of course, or on the um, brain fart, the video feedback section of the Discord. Wow, for some reason it just, I shut off right there. I understand that. It happens to me all the time. Yeah, I think you were saying something yesterday about uh, brain does this and doesn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it with the hand motions, man. I did, but you didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Getting ready to undock. Jeez, this is, this is terrifying. <laughs> you know that? I can imagine. I no, can't believe I'm, I'm doing this. This is... Do, if you've seen um, The Martian... Wait for the door to close. Yeah. If you've seen The Martian, um, this this feels like that moment at the end where they're planning on blowing the front of the ship to slow themselves down and, and all the craziness and cuts his glove and flies around like Iron Man. And Anyway, here we go. <sighs> go. Okay. Now, quick, where is this thing? Where is it? If I don't, if I can't see it, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die anyway. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, I'm toast. Yep, never mind. Okay, it was worth a shot. It's, it was, it's usually yeah, in the but... same spot that when the um, when the ship spawns anyway, which is oh. directly behind it. Fresh start. Hey guys, want to see how the game starts? This is how the game starts. Item number one: always press the red button at the top in your first cryo chamber. Yes, because that opens a hidden compartment, which people, even though uh, the devs released this, like they talked about this, people still don't know it exists, and people well, forget about it. It's one of those things that just encourages you to, you know, take a look and like read up on things and that kind of thing. And if you don't, well, that's okay. It's it's there's really not that much to it. It's these four boxes are not available if you don't press the red button. And you can't actually see what's in them anyway. Hang on. Resource injector. Don't think that. I think that was all I got out of that. Oh, uh, oh no. Nico Man says, uh, how to rename docking port tax. Um, <laughs> this is new. By the way, have you noticed the default um, sign in the crew quarters module? No. What is it? It's zero. zero. It's, it's oh. a big zero dot. <laughs> little zero but it kind of looks like a face yeah it's it's the question like the actually the what face? main place thing okay you know gotta <laughs> mr font says don't lose this weld <laughs> yeah i don't plan i don't plan to and then this is epics place see i love it i really like that they've added that yeah, that's just the best thing ever. Um, it it's really not just a best thing. It is the best thing ever. It's the second best thing because for me the first is the stereops. Like I have been really happy with the stereops. So far. Have you? I hadn't figured that out. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> uh, okay, am I just not even? I'm gonna grab. I'm just going to strip this place. I'm going to take everything I can and I'm going to go grab the stereops and go meet you. Okay. Sounds good. Oops. That's the wrong one. You could just send the stereops away and call in a, a Sarah. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Actually, I could send the stereops to you. Yeah, that's perfect. Send the stereops there's, to me. There's a problem I'll dock with, that. with it. Hang on. There's a well, problem with that. <laughs> um, it doesn't come with full batteries. So I have to, to dock it and charge. I have it to charge again. it first, yeah. But then I could, yeah, I could send it to you. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, that's one of the things that they advertised was like, you know, um, if you're going to like go and raid a base or something, and you think you're going to die, send the ship away, yep. so you don't have to, you know, worry about it. And if you die, well, at least you have your ship, so you can go back and get your stuff. Or if you completely win, then you're stuck there and you sent your ship away. <laughs> That's a good point now that I think about it. Uh, but it's if like you met a friend there or something and they're going to give you a yeah. ride, you know, or if you're going to retrieve somebody else's ship. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. go there, you know, get what you need off the ship, go to the the ship, send your ship away, and then go use the ship. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and you guys actually will be able to see the docking procedure from from here as well. So, the first thing you do is you go to dock mode. Oh, hey, look, they actually fixed that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... And this thing is surprisingly fast for accelerating and stuff too, which is cool. In my opinion. Um, Alice says, I know cosmetic things are coming later, but we totally need a subnautica style multi-purpose room in Halion. Arcadia Station needs a cobalt club. <laughs> we <Nice. need> this. <laughs> it really does. Oh, that'd be amazing. Just like this open room that we can just add chairs and stuff in. By the way, working chairs and stereops, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, there's two chairs on either side. Of They're like the passenger bridge. seats. Yeah, you can't use them. It always well, throws me when I'm in the docking view. I'm so used to... Um, whoa, whoa. Okay, first of all, I'm not used to how fast this thing accelerates. 
but also I'm so used to space engineers where I'm sending commands related to the ship's orientation, not related to my camera. So I'm correcting as if it was space engineers. Do you know what I mean? Like Yes, I get you, because like, the camera I, would be above the dock itself. So normally, so, right now, I wouldn't be going up. I would be going forward in Space Engineers, but here I have to actually go up. And so, anyway, I'm like, I have to tell myself not to correct. <laughs> no, just aim. Yeah. Put the dot in the middle and go for it. That's right. One of the things that oh. they added, too, oh. that I really, really like for the... Uh, the latest experimental update. Oh, that arrow uh, at the top is the, the triangle yeah, at the, the top. Yeah, the little chevron. Yeah, yeah, it's very handy. I absolutely love that. So is that telling you that you're you're good lined to up go? properly? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we have power here now, and Can I'm gonna go make fire sure. Fire that station on you. Oh, and charge at the same time. I didn't realize I could do all of... Oh, yeah, actually, I could, now that I think about it. Oh, and then the other thing that's coming, I think, mm -hmm. eventually. It's not there yet. Oh, dude, it's in. No, is it? Yeah. Well, uh, I just it? showed it on stream, so... <gasps> yeah. It is! Yeah. Oh, yes! I didn't no know it was in. Way. How did you so, get... <laughs> um, so I'll just go ahead and say um, when when that was created the first thing I did was like look I found the way that we could possibly get it on him that was just like this is all Commander Kitten <laughs> I oh. was just like I want to do oh, this for wow. you because this is amazing so I grabbed it and I sent it and I was just like yeah please please add this there we um, go. So there we that go. Yeah. Beautiful. It's by it's the way, thing. and this is and the thing is, I didn't expect this to arrive before <laughs> I actually announced the new logo. So <laughs> you guys are the first one to see the logo unless you saw my my vlog from yesterday where I gave a, a little peek of it because it was on my shirt. <laughs> but that is so cool. I am, I am so it, glad they added it. I am very well, happy about that. Will this make the ship go faster now, though? Yes. No, the yeah, ship actually, if you faster. choose that one, the, ship's, the ship goes 0.05% faster. It doesn't yeah, show on like any of the screens. You'd actually have to measure it yourself to find out. But <laughs> no, I'm Yeah, it's it's just as if you put, like, a red stripe down the middle. It's exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, you get the same, you get the same effect as a red stripe. That's definitely yeah. true. Oh, there's one here. I didn't even notice that there was one like right there. <laughs> it's like a bumper that is sticker. Awesome. So happy about that. Okay. Awesome. So is that your um what is it? Admissive strips? Oh. No. <laughs> it's also like on the ground here. I went outside to go see it. Where else is it? Oh my word, it's everywhere. There's one there. <laughs> there's one there. <laughs> oh my it's goodness. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It won't go away. Oh. <laughs> But do you want it to go away? No. <laughs> I I literally just out of habit didn't even bother to check. I just would instantly put in like, you know, my my kitty cat that I like. <laughs> yeah. Well, they already had one that was just perfect for you already. Ep uh, epic. So what? Equinox just says, sounds like I need to do some signs to see if Epic is a liar. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Equinox, you definitely should not, because he would actually figure it out. I know. I <laughs> Don't know. check. Just just believe, man. You have to believe. It only actually shows when you're not testing it, though. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it's only like that when you're math. not testing it. He has done it's the called math. The, it's called the Freudian concept. The, what? No, is that is that it? No. The Schrodinger concept or the the cro the Schro oh, Schrodinger. Oh, oh no no no! You quantum. You're thinking quantum. Yeah. Where it's um yeah. where it's only that way if you're not a, not exactly. um, looking yeah, yeah, at yeah. it. Yeah yeah. So the, the Schrodinger effect. It is the way it is until you until observe you observe it. it. It's it's in both states until anyway. I'm not going to pretend to understand. Um, I I understand yeah. like the whole the the idea behind it like the the example they give is Schrodinger's cat where he puts the cat is, in a box well right but the thing is <laughs> Schrodinger's cat like 
it's an interesting thought experiment, but it actually doesn't. It it's not. Yeah. Anyway, we're just equinox. Go. has just said so. It's like the bell from Polar Express. Uh, sure. What's the bell from Polar Express? <laughs> I've never seen Polar Express. I thought one I of saw it, it but. I don't. Think, I don't remember it to be honest. I I vaguely remember. I think I saw like <laughs> I, half of it. I think my kids were watching it. And he just wrote back and says, "I'm just going to ignore all the things you guys have just said." <laughs> Probably best. Yeah. <laughs> because the thing about quantum mechanics is, wow, nobody actually understands quantum mechanics. People just pretend to understand quantum mechanics. <laughs> If someone thing, doesn't get giddy, uh, if someone talks about quantum mechanics and doesn't get giddy at the at the, at the idea of quantum mechanics, then they then the, they don't understand quantum. Mechanics yeah, you, you know you're quoting somebody, like, right? Like yes, you're, you're I know. That. Okay, just want to make still, sure. Like, like I, I mean, started out as like a joke true. quote, but I'm just like the more I think about it, the more it's true because it's like the wealth of unknown information in quantum mechanics and how bizarre quantum mechanics seems to be is just how could you not get giddy about it because it's like it makes no sense <laughs> and yet it does on another note equinox just says the bell it only rings when you believe oh there you go yep that is true so on a side it's never going to ring <laughs> Mr. Fonts says, never mind t-shirt. I want a ship next. Do you want a ship? Yeah, ma maybe maybe someone wants like a to buy a ship or something, like an NBT. I, no, I can't. I, I never I can't mind offer ships. I want a ship text. Not next. What? He did say text. My apologies. Oh, I think he's oh, he's saying that he's more excited about about the the, the new logo the yeah. than yes. he yeah. is about shirts, which yes. I'm I'm yes. with you on that. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with you on that too. Like But I the, also want the shirt. <laughs> the best, like the most realistic space sim that we've ever played, and your logo is <laughs> plastered on a ship inside of it. How is that not it. awesome? <laughs> hey, am I gonna go with the the station? Should I bring the outpost with me? Uh, that's up to you. Like, I would say probably. Well, <gasps> ooh, ooh, please just come yes. up with an awesome idea, kittens. See how you've yes. got that three D printer. Oh <laughs> shh. Print. We've already been no, talking sh about it. Warm pancakes. Is anyone ever going to explain warm pancakes? Nope. No. No. Okay. Nope. No. It's it's Never. a thing that does not need explanation because they'll figure it out eventually. It'll take them a while, but they'll figure it out. It's fine. I love force pressurization. Just saying. Okay. There's an admin command for that. Another thing that they were at. Oh uh, yes. Um, Tell them all is, about that. Okay, this is the like the third best thing about this update, in my personal opinion. Um, admin commands. Yep. We are <laughs> so for private servers, them. like the Patreon server. Um, by the way, uh, shameless plug: you can join the Patreon server by uh, being Patreon. Anyway, um, That's hilarious. <laughs> basically. <laughs> We'll be able to do things like spawn modules, or if some bug takes your ship, we'll be able to give you your ship back, and then all the, like, the actual items on the ship as well. Um, and you can do all sorts of really cool things, like spawn asteroids, or stuff like that. You know, uh, the same all the stuff you'd think an admin would be able to do. So, like, all the reasons that most games have admin tools, they're going to be adding them. They're actually yes. already in the this version, but of course I'm not an admin on the server, so yes, which is uh, kind of weird. But that's another thing the, altogether. Yeah, the servers are acting a little bit weird. Yeah, we're for some reason we are on a non-experimental experimental serve server, and I do not understand yeah. what happened there. Like, yeah, the server that we normally use currently down, um, and that's just that's yeah, that's it is what it is. Yeah, yep. It happens. Experimental. What do you expect? Hey, what do you... <laughs> it's bound to be bugs. No. No. What? 
I was just thinking about things. <laughs> mm. Okay. And apparently I'm shot thinking... down your own idea. Yeah. So I'm thinking about like getting rid of the um, the crew quarter module and not attaching the um, not attaching the airlock module. Or should I should I attach the airlock module and bring it? I mean, I don't unless we you plan on getting a Sarah. I mean, it doesn't really. Right. Oh wait. Oh, but I have to. I would have to send off the stereops to do that. Send off the stereops. Yeah. Spawn a Sarah. Send the stereops to me, and then I'll be able to to get back to you. And by the time I get back to you, the Sarah should be spawned. I just thought of something. Okay. I'm going to make. A uh Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a um a makeshift airlock. I think this is gonna work. This ought to be good. Yeah. Okay, so that's corridor B. So if mm -hmm. I start depressurizing corridor B and then I run in here and manually close this door, it'll only be able to depressurize this part. Is it going to continue? Yes, it's continuing to depressurize. I just made myself an airlock module. But now you can't come back in. Yes, I can. I just have to force pressurize it. Well, yeah, but the idea is to keep the air. I'm not going to lose any air in this process. Okay, so I didn't lose any air this time. So right now, if I force close that door and then open the other one, the air will rush into here, but it'll stop. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. See? I is the smarts. Okay. Now the question is, if I was going to do what I just did, why did I do what I just did? That, that didn't make any sense. Made sense to me. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm running out of air, by the way, so... You should have... What? What do you mean you're running out of air? There's only so many personal canisters. Oh. are But there are there more... Um, are there more jetpacks? I don't know. Hmm. Yes, but not a whole heck of a lot of air in them. Oh, there's one with almost full. Okay. Okay, so the Stereops does not have any air in it. That's good. I would love to be able to steal the um, nitrogen and oxygen, but I should have done that before I came up here. I'm going to take that and that. Oh, I hate that I have to use a full warp cell. Oh, wait, I don't. Ha. Okay. I forgot I found a 16%. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. But I can take a singularity deton. Oh, this doesn't have a singularity detonator. Thought they were supposed really? to. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Could be a random spawn. Could be. Batteries. So I've upgrades. posted a link to your Patreon in the chat, guys. So. Oh, thank you. If you want to join the Epic's Patreon. You can hit the link. Oh, uh, Fire Rose Nico Wolf says uh, check your inventory because it's possible to pick them up through the the cell container. You are correct. I actually have. Huh, cool. It expands warp options by 20% is what it said. Don't know what that means, but whatever. Okay. Anyway, guys, I am going to have to bounce and leave you in the stream for myself. So thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Awesome. And I look forward to next Saturday's stream. I do as well. Which me will too. be my birthday stream for me. So Ooh. Nice. Yeah. I have an idea what we can play. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to go for it then. I want to, yeah. I think it'd be a ton of fun. 
Epic, yeah, you you've been very hesitant if you'd want to play it or not. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. We'll talk about it another time. So, guys, stay safe and enjoy the rest of the stream. Uh, David Perry says, "No, Cosmic, don't call." See, the thing is, I'm picking up my little sister from the train station from a night oh. out, so I need to go and pick her up. Where's the M? Did I not initialize warp? I think I didn't initialize warp. He looks at it up to do color to finish the thing. <laughs> I think that's probably what I did. Okay. Anyway. Ah, I've got about 30 minutes. All right, Have fun, guys. Bye. Oh, there we go. Initialize. There we go. Now where's that M? I was like looking all over for the M and I'm like, hey, is that bug back? Uh-oh. I no, have I 10 seconds. Bad. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I have eight seconds to get off the ship. <laughs> Run! You're not going to make it. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I hope you added me to the crew list because otherwise this is... What? You're not sending it to me, are you? No. Okay. That would have You're been a good idea. <laughs> I mean, we I, talked about you sending it to me. I but... think I knocked it. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a great idea. Which refinery are you at? Uh, B, I think. Let me check. Well, I think I screwed B2. up the, the warp too. <laughs> so I think I actually got it off from. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that again. Uh, which one? B2. Okay. Ah, that's the one I was sending it to. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to give myself a little bit more time. And add me to the crew list as well so I can yes. use this. Yes, that's a great idea. Security panel. Add crew member. Kitten. There we go. I haven't changed well, the name, just FYI. That's fine. I know why we had so much issue with this sh uh, ship. Because I named it the Kobayashi Maru, obviously. Could be. Yeah, that's probably it. Wait, no. The Kobayashi Maru would always be the, like, no problems. No, the Kobayashi Maru is always the one with the problem. The Kobayashi Maru is an unwinnable circumstance. Oh, that's right. It's only... When yeah, Captain Kirk the is the only doing person it. won. The only person who won was Captain Kirk, and that was because he rewrote the program. Yeah, okay. and he did it in such a way that he didn't leave any signs that he rewrote the program, which is the only reason why he passed. Just because he literally like he fixed, his he ideal yeah. is, yeah, his ideal was if it's an unwinnable situation that you can't win, make yourself win. <laughs> yep. And that's how he captained, and he did a great job doing it too. <laughs> I have a I have a friend that actually like legitimately Kobayashi Maru to test in school. And, Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Um. So, okay, this is going to show my age, but the story is that when I um, hang on, I just realized I want to watch that thing go. Um. So the story is that when I was in school. Um, I was doing tech school basically, and this friend of mine was there with me and we had to make boot disks, uh, for fixing computers. And back in those days, you'd make a three and a half inch floppy disk and boot off of it. And there was not a whole lot of room and there was a lot of crazy things you had to do with memory and, and, there were, for the older people that have done this, there's a config sys and an auto exec bat and all these files you got to edit and and all this kind of thing. Anyway, this is back in the days of Windows 95 and DOS 6.22. And the um, I don't think that thing is going to go. Why is my ship not going? You realize it's just like the whole grenade <laughs> thing. Where if you go to it, it's possible it could explode. It's only a, it only gave it. a minute. Like, it was supposed to go in a minute. So I'm going to go over there while I continue talking. So anyway, so we had to make our own boot disks. And the goal was to get the lowest amount 
of used memory. So the highest amount of conventional memory available um, through our configurations. And he and I both were kind of competing against each other uh, because like the, the, the requirements for the test were actually like really easy to do for us at least. And so we were just like, okay, whatever. So we were competing against each other to get the best that we could. And he somehow managed to get way better than I did. And I found out later that what he had done is he had actually used Windows 95 as the, it was basically a different version. I just got hit in the back with some debris. Um, he used a different version than he was allowed to, but he hex edited the the version numbers so that if you actually checked the version of the OS, it came up and said the one we were supposed to use. Wow. And And so he was able to beat everybody hands down. And he said that the reason he did it was because he could never beat mine. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to cheat. But we, he actually called his disc uh, Kobayashi Maru, and when he turned it into the teacher, he told him what he had done. And the teacher was like, you know what? Since you told me, I just appreciate it. Clearly, you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> uh, anyway, so there you go. That's my, that's my story. That's, I'm sticking to awesome. it. That's awesome. Okay. Um, Why is this thing not? I thought this was supposed to be a thing. Fire Rose Nico Wolf says that uh, you know what game you guys should play together? Keep talking and nobody explodes. Yes. Stressful, but possibly hilarious. I want to do that, actually. I want to do that too. I, I especially since you can do VR with it. it. Yeah, I've done the VR with it. It's not as exciting oh, is it as, not as fun? yeah, because you actually have to use a like a controller. Ah, uh, okay. You can't do it with. Um, you can't do it with like the motion controllers unless they've changed that. You have to do it with like a Steam controller. As a matter of fact, that's that is the original reason I bought a Steam controller was for that game. Really? So so that I could do it in VR. Cuz you couldn't even do it with keyboard and mouse. Ah. Do you think uh, this thing Equinox is actually going to go? Equinox says uh, Epic in VR headset, Kitten Cosmic Constructing. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. Yep. You can use... Oh, they added the motion controllers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I would do it then. Well, now we just better make a video out of it. Like, just... Why do you think yeah. this isn't going? Am I doing Prob something wrong? Probably because experimental. <sighs> so sad. That was That was, like, the coolest thing. Was that you could tell a ship to go and then just get out and leave. It would go on its own. Well, I've locked up the stereo ops, so the Kobayashi Maru, which is dead in the water. Uh, I can just die and come to you. That's not as fun, though. Hang on, I'm gonna go get. That's true. I wonder if it just. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The power in the ship is off. The pa does the power have to be on? Yes, I believe it does. Eyes <laughs> the brilliance. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again with the power on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Mr. Font says, I'm back after taking a shower. So what did I miss in the last half hour? Nothing. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Fire, uh, Fire Rose Nico Wolf says, Cosmic had to go. Kitten is still stranded, and Epic is still trying to get the ship out out to him. So nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> oh, and fun story time about a former classmate of Epic. There you go. Who theoretically could be watching right now? He watches some of my stuff. Okay, I got thirty seconds oh, to get out of here. If he is, hi. There is now power on the ship. I, it should tell you if it's not going to go because there's no power. Uh, 
Okay. By unnamed stereops. 15, 20 seconds, something like that. I don't know. Ironically, that same friend has always been really good at just... Oh! It just disappeared. All right. He's really good at like just knowing time. Like you just... I'm, I'm a little sad that there wasn't much in the way of um, graphical effects. It just simply disappeared. There's a little bit of graphical effect when it shows up. Okay. That's cool. Oh, I better switch out my... So you have about two minutes before it shows up there. And then, oh, I, I just realized that I was looking for the, um, I was looking for the airlock module and there isn't one. Okay. Um, oh, it's there. It's here. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> That's awesome. And now I'm going to use my makeshift airlock. Yay, it worked. Totally worked. I can't believe all my crazy ideas are working this time. Okay, I need to call a ship, which is going to show up in 10 minutes. And then, yeah, and then things will happen. Okay. Um, how are we doing on power over here now? Doing, we got negative 100. There's no sun exposure. Okay. That sucks. It's okay. It's all good. You're being very quiet. I'm trying to dock. And I smacked. You smacked what? Uh, I smacked against the stereops. Oh. What are you trying to dock to? The stereops. The stereops to the stereops? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to transfer the power? So I can... <laughs> yeah. I guess that works. Let's see, should I start processing some stuff? Do I need to process anything or am I gonna abandon this place? I am, aren't I? I believe you are, yes. So I really should be filling up these canisters. I'm gonna do that. Let's see, hydrogen, helium, And nitrogen. That sounds good. Let's see. We've got we've got like six minutes until the ship shows up. So I'm just going to fill up. I don't want this. Go over there. Just gonna fill up stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait, why would I bring dry ice with me? I'll refine that. Okay. Lots of things. You're being
being too quiet and I don't like it. Sorry, lining up everything about the dock. Trying to anyway. Yes, I have dock stereops and stereops. By the way, your stereops is basically dead. What do you mean? Like I'm seeing just a huge hole. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I'd say fix it, but you can't. <laughs> okay, how do I transfer the power from one to the other? You don't. Pa you can't. Um, you have to get in the other one. I don't want to leave everything though. It'll take way too long to move everything. I have no idea. I'll just take the power, the warp cells. That's all that matters. I just glanced it's up at the hot. chat, and they're talking about a game called Spaceball. What? <laughs> I don't know. It, it sounds like it has something to do with zero G basketball, and whether oh, I see. It started with a question about whether the stereops has a place for the basketball hoop, and someone said that they should put one on the outside of the ship. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, me too. Space skateball would be amazing. I agree. I'm ripping like everything out of this thing here. As you should. Well, sorry, Kobayashi Maru. You are dead to me. Literally. Yep, or do. I'm just gonna I'm pile. Not bother bringing the. God. I was just gonna say I'm just gonna pile all the stuff that I plan on bringing with me. Like just, I'm just chucking it on the ground over here. Um, I'm not gonna bother bringing the. Uh... What do you call it? The thing with the thing and the thing. Oh, the thing with the thing and the thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, clearly. What? Okay, I have to admit, that's really cool seeing like, Epic Tech on it. <laughs> it is. It is very cool. It makes me very happy. Well, there's your 10,000 sub gift. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only one of them, so... It's only one of the th one of the things. There's many things happening for ten thousand. Yes. Lots of little things, like nothing big. Lots no, of little. No, I things. mean, I mean, it's technically big because there's tons of little things. Yeah, I mean, if they if you add them all together, I guess. I don't know how I'm coming back. I don't know anything. I am totally playing this all by ear. Oh, I you're not I don't um how am I supposed to come to you? Because I don't have you on my radar. Yes you do. It's right there. Right? <laughs> um I have my station where we originally were. Do, do you not see any distress calls? I don't know how to see distress calls anymore. <laughs> you know what? just realized I don't know how to tell if I've got a distress call on or not I thought there was a thing where when you turned on the distress call it showed on the environmental monitor or something but maybe not yeah it does it used to well then the distress distress call button in here is not working could be a bug I think maybe well um Huh. Yeah, that's um that's a thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, let's see. What if oh, I I see a distress call. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is it me? Maybe. If I turn it off and turn it back on again, will you see? Probably not. Oh, bad news bears. What? Insufficient power. <laughs> oh, it's always that way. 
Well, the good news is two things. So, A, there is another ship that's going to be arriving here any moment. B, we're never going to use this game again, so we're not really losing anything. And some other thing that I can't think of right now. Yeah, because I'm trying to think of how to do my my tricky uh, manual airlock trick. Uh, Mr. Font says, can we have a hint on how many things? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, whoa. I think the ship just arrived. So... What is okay? Um, you know, it's like I said, it's kind of a lot of little things, and it's kind of hard to say which things are individual things and which things are like combos of things. So, since it's a 10,000 viewer sort of thing. I'm going to say 10,000. 10,000 things? 10,000 things, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's new on the Sarah? Uh, the HUD should be new. Uh, a couple of changes to the... Um, basically, there's right now, it's just uh, the anchor and some changes to the piloting. Okay. So I'm going to go inside first. Ooh, ooh. I haven't seen them, so I don't know exactly what change. It's just labeled as changes to the. the just Sarah changes to stuff. the Sarah. Okay. Yeah. Should be interesting to see. That's for sure. I noticed but, that um, uh, this came pre-pressurized, which was interesting. Isn't? I don't think that's the same, right? Yeah, it's the same. Oh, has it the always Sarah been? Is always Sarah has always come pressurized as a starting vessel. Huh, okay. Well, cool then. Um, Alice brought up a really good point uh, that uh, the stuff doesn't matter. We're just demonstrating upcoming features, not starting a new survival series, which is true. By the way, that is a good thing to note. Uh, when this experimental goes to live oh. version, um, there will be a wipe or servers so just be yes. aware of that uh the wipes are to ensure that new content gets deployed from so yeah um, and there's enough changes that it's important to do that yeah i mean there's like a whole new starting ship stuff there's yeah there, there's there's pretty big changes to make it so that it's definitely worthy of a whole server reset that's a thing just Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely that, worth it. That, that's also, I, I would like to point out that that's also like a standard practice in early access games in general. Um, they like to wipe for big patches anyway. A lot of games anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, it's early access. It's, you know, it's early access. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> no, I know. It's just I'm just saying <laughs> early access. That's all you got to know. You don't have to say anything else. It's early access. That's all. Okay. You know what else it is? Early access? Mm hmm. I'm glad you figured it out. You know what else it is? Early access. Uh, actually, seven minutes to the end of the stream. What? Not acceptable. Well, I'm going seven to... minutes before I leave. I'm, I'm going to need <laughs> you to roll back time a little bit. If you could just do, um, go ahead and do that for me, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, let me just. Uh... It was a thing. Oh, they're using this new just, HUD too. That's, let me just jump in my TARDIS. I do like that they now have like a little picture of the things on the HUD instead oh, of what? That's another update. Uh, icons for the actual items. So the thing that I just said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Shush. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just making sure that we. Oh, you know what I just realized also is there's no animation for getting in and out of this seat either. Hmm. 
Probably a placeholder. And you can now walk to the front of the ship again. Yay. Oh, yes. That was in the latest. Yep. Yeah. That makes me happy. Yeah, I miss being able to do that. Why did I dump all the stuff on the ground and then leave without all the stuff? <laughs> Dang it. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just looking around at this point. It's Come on, Epic. None of this matters. None of this matters. It's true. I think it's cool. We got to show you um, an early look at the new dev stuff. Yeah. And I think that's just fantastic. That, I agree. That's just... Ready for a ride? That's awesome. Hey, who's going for a ride? Hey. That was lame. Sorry. I was expecting to get blown out of the front of the ship, and instead it just kind of slowly drifted me backward a little bit. Never mind. That's because you weren't in zero G. It's, yeah, but I should have at least have fallen down. That's true. You should have. So I want to go look at the change to the grapple. There's no grapple there anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, uh, there is. Is there? Is there? No. Oh, the yeah, there used gone. to be, like, little things here. So there used to be, like, mm -hmm. little tongs that would kind of come out and grab on. And they're gone. The grapple was replaced with the anchor. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm looking well, at. I was telling them. See, there's, there's the anchor. Right there. Yay. So what are your guys' takes on the changes? Uh, do you like them? Do you not like them? Things you guys think that they should change or, you know, stuff like that? They definitely like feedback. They really do. And I think that's awesome. Because yeah. they take feedback and they're like, oh, okay, well, let's change that. Yeah, there's been a lot of things that they've done that way. Like, I mean, like, there's been a lot of things where they have made major changes just from feedback. And I think it's very cool. Yeah, I, it really feels like they're trying to to make the game that they and the community want. And it, it, it feels like they're trying to meet in the middle between the, the perfect game they want to make and what the community's expectations for the game are. Yeah, I mean, and I... I think they've done a fantastic job. I am, I, I gotta say, I am a little bit disappointed in the loss of the physical controls. Yeah, I, I, I have to admit that. The, yeah, I don't, I don't like the new HUD. I like, I'm fine with those two holographic things, but because they feel like they're. Like once they have like a like a frame or something or or something underneath them projecting them or something like that, I'd be fine with. But the new but this other HUD in the middle, I wish I could hang on, can I No. The parts that just disappeared right now, like you can see that they're not they're not on the window, they're not you know you know, they're not in my helmet, they're on the screen. And in my opinion, the only thing that should be on my screen is the dot in the middle of the screen and that little t flag in the upper right-hand corner that says environmental build. Unless I'm wearing um, a, um, a helmet. My personal thoughts behind this is I think they should do a mix of both. The, the physical and the 3D HUD. Um, yes, because, but yeah. but hang on. When you say 3D HUD, you mean these like these two side screens? Yes. Yeah, but but I don't like the fake HUD. I don't like like yeah, for a game I like this. I one of the first things I got really excited about was the fact that th when you take off your helmet, you have no HUD. Yes, I, I love, love that. that. But we currently do not have that for flying the ship. Hey, don't fling me out. I wanted to go inside. <laughs> Sorry. Um, another thing I'd like to see, like, I, I know this is going to be a bit later, but uh, it, regarding the 3D HUD um, and maybe the, the chair in, uh, in general, 
uh, in super, super early access builds uh, for, like, the trailers and stuff, they showed the... Oh, I can't remember the name of the ship. The... Tem- uh, Alice will correct me. Um, another anyway, ship? Is that what yeah, we're talking it was, about? It was, a, it was another ship, but the thing that I liked about the ship is what I hope that they will add eventually with the 3D HUD and stuff, but they sat in the chair and the chair would move it would turn around and slide forward i like that it looks like the chair in the um in the stereops and in the sarah can do that the tamara that's right alice just corrected me the tamara from the pre-alpha um, oh and you're talking about the fact that like this has rails underneath it right and yeah. the hud as well the um I believe the actual HUD elements moved as well. I would like to see in the final, final released, full, completed game that these 3D HUDs would like, when you're not using them, be off to the side, powered down, just chilling there. And then when you sit in the, it kind of brings up to you and just like, hey, this is all the information you need to know. See, I want to see, I want to see them still powered up. Well, depending on what they are, but I want to see more in the way of I would love to be able to find out information by walking up to the screen and just looking at it and not having to sit down so like things like the range over here Ooh, like that's true range I did like. and and like there's a lot of vessel stats like what you know how many hit points we have all this kind of stuff that's really useful even if you're not sitting in the chair on the live version that's there and you can see it. That's, that's a good point. I do like that as well. Actually. Yeah. And do you remember I thought of that with warp and I'm sure that they're going to add this back in, but with warp in the, in the stable version, wah, okay. <laughs> that's new. That was very interesting. So with, <laughs> with warp in the stable version, um, they actually have the countdown on the screen. You don't have to be sitting in the seat to tell, when it's time um yeah and i really liked that as well that i could walk up next to you and see and i'd love to have it so that all of the elements of the hud are there even for somebody standing next to the pilot yeah and maybe have um this might be going like way too far out there but maybe have a second navigator section or something like a small console off to the side or something so someone can plot a warp (laughs) <laughs> while someone else is piloting oh that would be great <laughs> setting up a, a custom orbit you know yeah like that just drives me nuts because it's like i'm piloting i'm trying to avoid stuff i don't have time to yeah. plot the thing as well it kind of the interstellar rift um approach of like you can do everything as a single person but having somebody else to be able to do something while you're doing something else is a really good plan, you know? So maybe have a navigation screen up here that I can be sitting here plotting navigation while you are piloting. Yeah. And then you actually for a warp, you shouldn't even have to be in the seat to set up a warp only to point at the M basically. See, this is why I like talking with you about this kind of stuff because we have like, similar but also varying like views on what we want and when we kind of middle ground it we come up with something pretty interesting yeah by the way hello to everybody on the hellion wiki (laughs) and the uh (laughs) apparently the we are being uh hosted on the hellion wiki live right now oh nice that's what alice just told me that that's pretty cool so it's awesome anyway yeah hi (laughs) just in time Um, to end the stream because we are over we are over by a few minutes. So. Just before. Yes. Just before. Yes. Uh, Fire Rose Nico Wolf, because because we asked what other people wanted to see. Oh yeah. Fire Rose Nico Wolf said, um, "There's one thing I really want, and that's some indication of health besides just muted sounds and colors, like a vitals monitor on your suit's arm or something." Yes. I completely agree. I like, com- It doesn't yes. have to be much. Just I even you know even if you have to go somewhere to find out, like like we were actually talking about the fact that. You can right now, you can get basically free healing by by just taking off everything you own and 
and hitting respawn and then stepping out of the out of the cryo chamber and putting everything back on again and you're now at full health again. So why not have it so that you slowly um heal while you're in the cryo chamber? So you can just step in there and it'll heal you up. Maybe maybe it'll take a full minute, but what would be really cool is if they added in your health level in the HUD in the cryo chamber. So maybe the only way to find out what how much health you have other than the, you know, your vision going to black and white, which by the way, I love I love that that I that they too. don't just show you a number of hit points on the screen. That you kind of like, okay, you're clearly not feeling well. I'd actually yeah. like to see them expand on that and make it so that maybe you know, you get a little bit of stumble every oh. once in a while while you're walking and things like that. Oh, what? here's an idea. Like, just below the center of your screen or something, have a little, like, a uh, heartbeat monitor. You mean inside the cryo? Uh, like... No, I mean on your helmet. When you have your helmet down, your little HUD pops up. Maybe just below, at the very bottom, have, like, a little heartbeat oh. monitor or something. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, kind of a life, like a life signs in on the helmet. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, oh, because it's like, you'd but, figure but not, at this level. But definitely not HP. Like, no, I yeah. do not want to see that. Actually, hang on. Do you do you have a stim pack near you? Uh, I don't think I have any here. I think Shoot. I have like four anyway, on me or something. If, um, if you look at a stim pack, when you hover over it, it actually says something like, like five HP per second for 10 seconds or something like that. Yeah. But I, which I think is hilarious because there's no way to know how much help HP you have. Like, I have no idea. Do, like, do I have a hundred HP? Do I have a million HP? Do I have two HP? I have no idea because there's no way to find out, but they tell you how much you can heal. <laughs> I, I just think like, uh, sorry, just backtrack just a little bit to my idea, but like, it, yeah, just definitely not an HP number. No, but like no. having the stereotypical heartbeat monitor, and the more damage yeah. you get, the faster it gets. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think, I mean, I would be that would be acceptable. I'd like to see something a little more. Well, I mean, like as a first implementation. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the definitely one of the possibilities. I would, but again, I would have no problem with having to go somewhere, like, like maybe they could even implement medical bays as a module. <laughs> I, I during our talk, I mentioned that like a medical bay module. I, that. Like, I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Expanding the kind of modules that you can do. Yeah, I, um, I agree with that. I mean, and maybe even the medical bay could start doing other things like increasing your health. Maybe you would have like exercise equipment or something like that because, you know, in the in the real space, they have to have exercise equipment on the space station um, so that they don't atrophy too much and then come back to Earth all skinny and gross. Yeah, maybe like some sort of thing that if you continue to exercise it gives you a, a buff or something that you can you don't suffocate as fast or something I don't know. yeah yeah oh lung capacity well I mean okay <laughs> there is a there's also the whole thing about it doesn't matter how much lung capacity you have you're going to die instantly in space anyway but <laughs> yeah <laughs> but fine line between realism and gameplay but but it could change how low of um Ooh, and um, Mr. Fonts just said uh, space get ball would be maybe another way to increase your overall health. But but also maybe it would increase your ability to withstand lower um, lower air pressures and oh. lower air qualities. Yeah, because that wouldn't be much different from like going hiking on a tall mountain. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, I mean, yeah. people that want to go climb Mount Everest and stuff like that have to do a ton of training to be able to handle the lower oxygen at those at those heights so maybe a health module would have some things that help you improve that and um and that kind yeah, of thing yeah and it and it slowly degradates over time if you don't bother to use it or something yeah ah there's like so that. many cool ideas i i, I love yeah, the direction this... they're going with this game it just well okay hang on 
other than this, the, the, other than the fake HUD, I really like the direction they're going in this game. I don't yeah, want them. I, I agree. I don't want them to take away the realism that they have worked so hard to build. Uh, it's my yeah, favorite the, thing about this game is the realism and and you know I mean just there's so many little things like the fact that I just made that that um, uh, manual airlock idea you know of, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the yeah. first person that came up with that but but the fact that you can do that it just it says a lot about this game um, and I'm just. Yeah, I, very happy. I feel like they did they, they have a really good foundation and yes. it feels like they're going in the right direction. Yes, overall. Mostly. Overall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Overall. And then of course um, the the best feature of all is adding that logo right there. Um I know you can't see it yet. Hang on, you just give it another second. Oh, there you go. That yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, but, I agree that that just that yeah. makes the game triple a right there no I'm kidding <laughs> there you go anyway but on that note we actually should go ahead and finish yeah, up the stream minutes we're 10 minutes over thank you guys so much for joining us and um and we're probably going to be back next saturday i believe i haven't looked at my calendar but i think we will be so definitely join us there. Uh, check out my YouTube videos. Check out the Discord server. There should be links all over the place, um, and I think that's just about it, right? Uh, one last thing. What's that? Thank you, devs, for yes. allowing us to take a peek at the the experimental build. This is it's fantastic. Yes, and, and we're for really adding my logo. Excited in. <laughs> and honored. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, really, thank you, devs, for even just coming up with the idea for this game, because it is fabulous. I really, yeah, really enjoy it. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think that's about it. So thank you for joining me, Commander Kitten and uh, Cosmic Chimp from wherever you are. I, he's gone now, but uh, thank you for joining us for the first part of the stream. And I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. And I'll catch you, Noodles, in the next trainer. Bye-bye.